and he'll just talk about uh, how this process has uh, worked for him. Um, I'm, I'm, my name is Rob Dabish. Um, I one of the largest cafe operators in the state of Ohio. Um, we we are for regulation, just so everybody understands that. Um, we like to get rid of the rogue operators. With this petition going around, or, or us going collecting signatures and everything, we're just trying to prove the process itself. Um, one with my court case that I had in Toledo, which which first started all the internet cafes, and with me going down to the to the state building and doing all of the uh, of the testifying, and up to this point, it's a process, and we're going to do this process to show that we are a legitimate retail establishment, that we're not what Mr. Dewine says. Uh, gambling establishments that do drug trafficking and stuff like that. Uh, we don't have any kind of police violence or any kind of issues going on in our, in, in, in our, our cafes, um, but we are a good, clean establishment. Legitimate leg retail establishment, I should say. So if there's any questions I could ask, I'd be more than happy to answer them. What concerns do you have that uh, the legislature could turn around and, and render this whole thing moot by doing Plan B? It's possible that, that, that they can do that. Um, I would hope that they would take into consideration that there are at least 430,000 signatures. Those are Ohio voters who want to have their say in this, who want to go through and say that I want to voice my opinion on this. Now, what's the name of your company and how many people do you employ full time? Um, Players Club Internet Cafe is, the, is, is my internet cafes. Um, since I started this industry till now, I've employed over 168 jobs. I've made 168, 168 jobs, and didn't take a penny of, of any government money to do it. And those are full-time jobs with benefits, or what kind of jobs uh, are we talking about there? Uh, full-time and part-time jobs. And where are they? Um, they're all throughout the state. Um, just a brief example, uh, Toledo, Oregon, uh, Astoria, Finley, Columbus, Springfield, Dayton, all over the state, pretty much. How many? 20 plus. How does this compare to uh, your grocery business? I mean, is this now bigger than your grocery business? I would say yes. Um, I'm devoting full time into this um, because I want to be able to grow, to grow this industry more. With one supermarket, you pretty much just have one and you're there. And with those key people that I have in place, they can pretty much run it. Um, I want to be out in the field and make sure that everything is run properly.